Hey, Hexkins and Validators. Well, the day has finally come. It looks like uh, Pulse Chain has just got the new update that Ethereum received, the Deneb fork here. Uh, this just came out like a half hour ago. So I wanted to do a video update to show you. I, th I think it's time now that we update our databases to the latest version. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick and easy here. Um, hope you guys are doing great. Hope you've been enjoying the markets. Uh, I've got so much to talk about, but not enough not enough time to do it. Let's, let's we'll keep it technical here. So I'm going to show you how to basically update everything to the latest version here. And as part of this, we're also going to we're going to delete the entire blockchain off of our hard drives, and we're going to have a re-download. So you're going to be offline for like 12 hours while it re-downloads everything, and then it's going to start validating so you're going to be offline for about the 12 hours and then 12 hours to catch up with your mining so looking at about a day total of offline to do this process so you know it's not i mean it's technically not mandatory but i'm certainly doing it on all of the cloud validators and we're going to do it live right now so so here we go okay so i've made a new script here so if you go to gitlab.com slash david feeder and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to the Pulse Chain Validators uh, little project here. Click on this. And then I've got a new file here. This is delete databases. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And here it is. This is just a quick two liner. So line one says warning, this will delete your databases and cause 12 hours of downtime to resync the entire blockchain. All right, cool. All right, so the next thing we have to do is we have to open terminal. So I've already got one pinned here, but you can just click on the open terminal button down below. So I've got a terminal here. And just to show that we've got a validator, I'm gonna do sudo docker logs minus minus follow and then get. And we type in our password for the computer. Okay. All right, cool. So you can see here, this is the Yes, blockchain database, the execution layer doing its thing. So it's cooking right along. Every 10 seconds, a new block comes in. Cool. Just the normal pulse chain node doing its thing. Awesome. All right. So I'm just going to hit control C just to stop these logs. And then I'm going to type in clear just to clear the screen, make it look nice. Okay. All right. So we're going to delete the databases. So line three, all we do is copy line three. This is going to stop everything. First, we have to stop it before we delete the databases, right? So it's going to stop the Docker containers, and it's going to delete them and remove the images. So we say enter. It's going through one by one and stopping them. Stops the validator, stops the beacon, stops geth, and then it deletes the images. And then we're going to run the next line. This that we're waiting for it to finish here, this does take a minute. That's what we're looking for now. It's deleted all the stuff. It takes a minute for the geth database to finish saving. So just be patient, let that let that do its thing. And then you want to see the deleted containers. And then we see the deleted images. And that's what you want. That's perfect. All right, great. And then we just go to line number five, line number five, this is the one that actually does the deleting of the databases and the folders. So I'm just going to copy line five. And I'm just going to paste it in the terminal. Actually, let me do clear just so it's so we can see it. I'm going to paste it in. So this is going to just move us into the blockchain folder. And then it's going to delete. This is sudo rm remove the geth folder. So it's deleting the blockchain database. And then we're also deleting the beacon chain data folder. And then this says cd and then it moves us back out. So we're just going to go ahead and hit enter. And this will also take a minute because it's deleting the whole pulse chain like block, like database, which is like a terabyte of all the Ethereum history and all the pulse chain transactions. It's actually deleting that folder right now. So this does take some time. And then after this, we're just going to start back up. I'll show you how, and then it's just going to automatically re-download the latest version. And that's it. A couple commands. We're done. All right, cool. It's all set. We're, we're back at the cursor. So now that part's done. So we did it. That's it. It's just two lines. And now those two folders, the geth folder and the beacon chain folder, those have been deleted. So we just had to delete those two folders. Now if we go to line seven, now it says now use the pulse chain mainnet 
shut down in startup script to re, uh, restart uh, with line seven as normal. So I'm just going to go back one page. And I'm going to scroll down to the pulse chain mainnet shutdown and startup. And then this is just the normal like shutdown and startup script if you ever want to like move your validator or like reboot it. So we're going to skip line three. We're just going to go right to line seven. It says use line seven through 13 to start up again. So you just start up your validator and that's it. So we're just going to copy line seven, go to the terminal, paste it in. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to go ahead and start downloading the latest version. And that's it. Off it goes. I'm going to go back. I'm just going to copy and paste line number nine. I'm going to paste that in and boom. I'm going to go ahead, downloading the latest version of all the Pulse Chain software. All set. Same for line 11. Copy. And then we hit, oh, let me do a clear just so you can, my screen's tiny. I'm trying to make the size for you. You don't have to do this. You just have to paste it and then enter. And then let's go ahead and it's downloading the software. Boom. And then I like to do line 13. We're just gonna copy and paste that. It just makes it so it always automatically restarts, even if the computer shuts down automatically or gets powered off, it'll automatically restart. Boom. And then that's it. And then you can go ahead and we can run line 17 to watch the logs. And then we should see there it is. It's syncing the beacon headers and it's downloading the entire blockchain from scratch. So now we're on the latest version and now it has to go ahead and do its download. It takes about 12 hours. Depends on your internet and how many peers you have. It's kind of random. So, but I call it 12 hours and that's it. You just let it resync and then it'll automatically start validating again. That's all there is to it. Congratulations. I, that's as simple as I can make it. All right. Trying to keep this one short and sweet for you guys, but uh, hopefully I'll, I'll see you guys around soon. Take it easy.